Which Disney character would be your Valentine? Like a pink coffee? Sign me up. This is probably intended to give to your Valentine, which is me, currently being swarmed by gnats. So I'm over on my pink couch. Oh, I really hope it works for this. It, it gives like boyfriends. And we are gonna make the Sleepy Girl Mocktail. I'm honestly a little scared. I have dropped it a couple of times. How cute! Don't let me fool you, I don't have dating worked out. Hey guys, happy Valentine's Day. I thought we would hang out today because I just want to do literally every Valentine's Day thing I can think of. I want to go get Valentine's Day coffee, some treats. I want to go to Disney and see what they're doing for Valentine's Day. And I also want to do a Q&A where I just kind of answer you guys' questions either about my love life or your love life and give you advice, etc. The first thing I want to do is go to Dunkin' Donuts because apparently they have a pink velvet coffee in honor of Valentine's Day. And I've had this coffee before a few years ago and it was literally my favorite coffee of all time and I feel like they discontinued it or something because for the past few years I haven't gotten it I don't know if I just like forgot to get it or what and they have it now so we're gonna go to Dunkin and try to get a pink velvet latte as well as maybe a little heart-shaped donut or something cute so let's go don't mind my straw hi could I do an iced pink velvet macchiato and do you have the red velvet donut let me check um, no, we don't. I'm sorry. That's okay. Do you have any, like, Valentine's Day donuts? We have Cupid's Choice, and that's really all. Okay, I'll just do that one. Oh my gosh, look at that. She is so beautiful. Look at this drink. Oh my goodness. So I got the pink velvet iced macchiato, which I literally just looked at the menu and that was like the featured item. And I was like, that looks good. We're going to get that. But I'm going to try it like this. I don't know if you're supposed to mix macchiatos. I feel like you're actually not supposed to mix them because that's the point is to drink like, I guess the flavor and then with the coffee all in one sip. I don't know. Let's try it. Oh, that's so good. I thought it was going to be like an all syrup um, sip, but that's actually really good. So this flavor is pink velvet. I don't necessarily know like what I was expecting that to taste like. I guess, I guess it does taste like a pink velvet, which is essentially like a red velvet, which is essentially chocolate. To me, it tastes kind of like cake batter. Like it's just like a super sweet, almost like an elevated vanilla flavor. Yeah, tastes like cake batter. That is so good. And then I also wanted to get a little Valentine's Day donut. So they were kind of out of everything, which makes sense because it's almost Valentine's Day. Um, but he said they had a Cupid donut. That was the only one they had. So I was like, okay, no idea what that is, but I think it's a glazed donut. Ugh, yeah, didn't turn out super cute, but I think this is a glazed donut with like strawberry icing. So let's try it. Mm. I haven't had a glazed donut in so long. That was Krispy Kreme level good. I love Dunkin' for their coffee and like their food. I really don't get their donuts, funny enough. Not because they're not good, I just kind of forget about them. But I feel like I've always preferred Krispy Kreme donuts. Those just like, oh my gosh, they're so good. But that was like Krispy Kreme level good. This is so fun. I just love that everything is like pink for Valentine's Day. Pink is my favorite color. So it's just like an excuse for me to wear all pink all the time. Like a pink coffee, sign me up. But the thing is, I don't typically like strawberry flavored things. So that's why I love this one because it's pink velvet and it's beautiful and it's pink, but it's not like a strawberry coffee. Like I think Starbucks does a strawberry coffee. Maybe that's like a secret menu item. I know Joffrey's does a strawberry coffee and I don't, I don't even think their coffee is pink. I don't know why though. I just have not been feeling in like the Valentine's Day spirit and not in a way that's like, oh, I'm single. So I'm going to be anti Valentine's Day. Not like that. I just feel like I'm kind of holidayed out. Like after celebrating Halloween and fall for so long and Christmas for so long, I feel like I was super excited to have another thing to look forward to. I remember like, and I talked about this in the first vlog too in my 2024 reset. And yes, I wore the same little sweater. I think it's so funny because I was so excited for Valentine's Day in that vlog. And I think that's just because I was so excited to have something else to celebrate because after the Christmas season is over and there's just so much like joy and happiness and like specialty flavored coffees and things, I feel like I get a little sad because I'm like, oh dang, 
I have to wait another nine months just to like celebrate something like that again but that couldn't be more wrong i think i'm a little overwhelmed because there's actually so much to celebrate now instead of like just one big christmas season it's like there's valentine's day season but it's also mardi gras but it's also groundhog day but it's also super bowl season but it's also easter season but it's also spring season but it's also festival of the art season like there's actually so much to celebrate i think i've just been a little bit overwhelmed because i love to celebrate and I love to go all out but I think there's just too much to celebrate at the current moment in time um and like I don't want to miss any of the holidays so this is me celebrating Valentine's Day as far as actual Valentine's Day goes I'm gonna celebrate with my friend we're gonna do just like a cute little pizza making night and I think we're gonna make like little charm necklaces I've been wanting to do that for a while but I think next up on our little Valentine's Day to-do list is to go home because I want to show you guys this box I got from Disney they sent me a Valentine's Day package which is so cool and it's a really big box so let's go home and unbox that Okay, I'm back home, and I literally can't get this out of the box. Like, let me show you. <laughs> so this is the box it came in, right? And then the real box is in here. Okay. It's super cute, though. It says, love you to death. There we go. Let's open her up. Ta-da! Look how cute this is. It has Jack and Sally all over it. Enjoy these hand-picked items crafted for the perfect Halloween game night from your friends at Disney Style. How cool is that? Thank you so much to Disney Style. So first we have a little Jack and Sally Monopoly. I love that. I'm a big Monopoly person. I could literally play that game for hours. Love never dies, a little sign. I hope love never dies. I don't think I've experienced that yet, but I hope so, right? A girl can dream. Oh my goodness. They know me too well. They sent me coffee. Oh my gosh, I can smell it. That smells so good. Look at the little box. This box is so cute. So, oh wow, that's really strong. This one is zero and it says rough weather oatmeal cream pie. This one is mudslide boogie with oogie boogie. And I think this one's chocolate. This one is Sally and it's frog's breath chocolate mole, which is a combination of coffee, chocolate, and spice. Yum. The last one, the one I'm probably the most excited for is the pumpkin king pumpkin pecan praline. Ooh. Oh, I cannot wait. Pumpkin is my favorite type of coffee. Okay, what's this? This is a bouquet. Oh my gosh, wait. This is so cute. It's like the characters, but in a little bouquet. Oh, I love that. This is probably the only bouquet I'm going to be receiving this holiday, and I'm okay with that. Next, we have a little blanket. Oh, I'm like low-key such a blanket collector. Like, well, you can't see it, but over there, I just have a little tub of blankets, like little throw blankets. Um, and so this is great for my little collection. And it's Jack and Sally with some hearts. Actually, I might use this like tonight, like ASAP. Next, we have the cutest little purse with Jack and Sally in the shape of a heart. And then zero is behind. And then there's also a lounge fly. This is so cool. I don't think I've ever seen this one before. Oh my gosh, it's Jack Skellington holding his pumpkin head on fire. This one's really cool. This is kind of getting me so excited for Halloween. I can't even lie to you. I think Halloween is my favorite time of the year. I know I just said I was exhausted from celebrating holidays, but now I'm excited again. We have a little mug, perfect for the coffee. It says Deadly Nightshade on this side, and then Jack is on the other side. There's also a little mixing spoon as well. Oh, this is gonna be so good for tea. Oh, love. We have, oh, a little love pop card. These are my favorite cards. I think they're so cool. Um, this is probably intended to give to your Valentine, which this year is me. So I think I'm gonna give it to myself. Simply meant to be, forever and always. Me to me, what can I say? Cute card though, super cute. And then we have, oh, a scented candle. I love a good candle. Oh my gosh, that smells so familiar. It kind of smells like the Pandora ride, like not, like not really at all. Ugh, I don't think it says what flavor it is. It smells like maybe a little lavender, maybe a little floral, just like a super generic. I can't, I can't put my nose on it. 
It, it gives like boyfriend scent. Not really. No, actually no. Kind of gives like Hollister scent. That was so cool. Literally the biggest thank you to Disney style. I mean, this just made my whole Valentine's day. Hey guys, so it is the next day and I'm currently getting ready for the day. I want to go to Magic Kingdom today. I don't really have a specific agenda. I looked up to see if they had any Valentine's Day treats and I think they have two. One is like this Valentine's Day themed popcorn like bowl with like pink popcorn or something. And then Joffrey's does have their like strawberry dipped mocha latte thing. And there is one more. So at Magic Kingdom, they have this like little float. It's Fanta strawberry and passion fruit flavor. And then they have strawberry crunch popcorn from the main street confectionery but i think they also have that little valentine's day little bucket i was telling you guys about that's pretty much it that's all they have at magic kingdom but over at the grand floridian they have these little valentine's day mac macro macro ma ma you know what i'm saying okay they have those, which look so cute. The resorts always have, like, super cute food, I feel like, compared to the parks. But as I'm getting ready, I got a few things from ColourPop that I thought we would try together because they look really fun, and it's from their, like, Valentine's Day collection. So, the first thing is this little jelly eyeshadow. I'm honestly a little scared. The shade is No Rest for the Vivid. Let me do it on my hand first. Mm, I don't know, actually if I want to use that one today. If I were just experimenting with makeup, I would put that on. But since we're actually going to go somewhere, that's like a good like pre-shower makeup. Do you guys do that? I saw it on TikTok, like the trend of doing pre-shower makeup, which I do that all the time. Like if I get new makeup products like this, I love putting them on like right before a shower. It doesn't matter how well I do. I'm just going to take it right off. Oh, oh, I, I want to do this one. Okay, so this is their Super Shock eyeshadow. I want just like a really light pink shimmer. So I think this one's going to be more of what I'm looking for, but that's the color. It actually matches my crew neck perfectly. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely what I'm looking for. Just a little subtle shimmer. I also got this ColourPop pressed blush. This color is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's like the same color as my little mirror. That's funny. I kind of already did my blush though. So I'm just going to do like a little bit. It actually might not show up today. But yeah, I'm excited to go to Magic Kingdom. The weather is like beautiful today, but it's actually a little chilly, which is crazy because yesterday it was 80 degrees. It was very warm. And then today it's like 60s. And my outfit today, I think I'm gonna wear jeans, but I was gonna wear a short sleeve shirt. So I might just bring like a little crew neck or something to wear over. And then the last thing I'm gonna try is this ColourPop Luxe lip oil. This looks so good. Oh, that's so pretty, actually. Okay, I'm all ready to go to Magic Kingdom. I put on a charm bracelet, and it's very loud. But let me show you guys my little outfit of the day. So I have on these ears. I think these are the Disney Valentine's Day ears. I don't know, because I have flowers on them. But, like, the coloring gives Valentine's Day. So we're going to say that. I've been waiting to wear them. And then I have on this little shirt from Urban Outfitters. I truthfully had no idea how to style it. So I'm wearing a little tank top under it. But, like, my hair kind of covers the weird straps so i kind of like i don't know i actually kind of like the way it looks especially with my hair covering it and then i have on this cutie little bag i am also gonna bring another bag for like all of my actual stuff but this is more of just like an accessory i would say it's super cute though it has mickey and minnie on it and it's from the brand fossil they did send it to me as a part of their valentine's day collection they also sent me this little ring which is so cute i think it's like mickey's hands like making a heart and they also sent me this little fossil watch so so cute then i have on this little charm bracelet i totally forgot i had um i think it's from the brand called charm it it's like a charm bracelet brand and then my jeans are american eagle and this is the little fit i think i'm also gonna bring this sweater as well um because i think it's gonna be a little bit chilly um uh, but yeah so this is my little outfit and then before we go i have to show you what i did with the bouquet from the nightmare before christmas box so i decided to put it in a little vase because it's a bouquet you know so yeah I have that in a little vase. Maybe I should put it like here. It's a really big bouquet. Something like that. <laughs> How cute.
such a cute day to be at Magic Kingdom because everybody's either decked out in Mardi Gras wear because it's Fat Tuesday or they're in Valentine's Day outfits. I've seen so many people here just like with their friends, with their Galentines or Valentines. I even ran into a girl who gave me a Galentine's gift. How cute. I'll show you guys what's in it in a little bit. Um, but yeah, today is just, it's like such a cute day to be here. But my phone is about to die and I kind of need it. So I'm going to go try to find a fuel rod station somewhere and just buy a fuel rod because I don't have one, which is kind of dumb on my part. So let's go find one. Currently being swarmed by gnats. I'm not sure where they're right here. So I was taking some photos right by the castle and I wanted to show you guys my little prop. So I got this from the confectionery and it's a little Rice Krispie treat just for Valentine's Day. It is so cute, but unfortunately I have dropped it a couple of times cause like you hold it this way. So I was like holding it like this earlier and it completely dropped and fell on the floor. So this is my prop and I will not be eating it, but it's super cute. I kind of want to get another one. I've been going in and out of my little crew neck and then my other outfit because it is a little bit chilly, but I love my other outfit. So anyways, energy is so good. Oh, let me show you guys what I got. So the sweetest girl came up to me. They were having a little Galentine's meet, just like some local girls in Orlando. And she had a few extra of these to give out. So like, look at this. Oh, she made Rice Krispie treats. I don't want the bugs to get in them. Oh my gosh. But look, little Rice Krispie treats. This can make up for the one that I dropped. She also made Made this little Mickey Mouse koozie is that what it's called a koozie just like to put over drinks and stuff this would be so good for iced coffees because those always like kind of sweat you know so how cute and I just can't believe she handmade it too like that's amazing and then last but not least these cute little sunnies literally this made my day literally so cute so I think the last thing I'm gonna do is get food somewhere but I don't know where hmm. Maybe I'll see if the spring roll cart is still open. Ta-da, I got the spring roll mix. So that's one cheeseburger and one pizza. It's really busy over here, but I got my little spring rolls. They almost didn't give me the sauce and that's like the whole point of getting the spring rolls, at least for me. So I'm back home and I picked up this little shirt at Magic Kingdom right before I left. It's Mickey and Minnie. It's like, I guess the Disney Valentine's Day shirt. I've been wanting it for so long. I don't know why I waited till Valentine's Day to get it, but I think it's cute and cozy. So I decided to put it on and we are going to make the Sleepy Girl Mocktail, which if you haven't heard what that is, let me explain it to you. It's something that I found on TikTok and I've seen like everybody on TikTok try it. So the point of this drink is just to help you fall asleep. So the ingredients are tart cherry juice, which apparently has natural melatonin in it. And then a poppy or like sparkling soda or water of your choice. I do the poppy ginger lime. This tastes so good to me. So those are the main ingredients. I like to add just a little bit of lemon juice to make it kind of super tart and then the main ingredient is magnesium glycinate and it's specifically the glycinate form of magnesium it's supposed to help you fall asleep so the point of this drink is you make it you drink it you get sleepy and then you have like the best sleep of your life now i'm gonna be honest with you guys i've been making this and i don't know if it necessarily makes me fall asleep i think it's a good like relaxing drink kind of in the way like sleepy time tea is which i like doing that too but i don't know that this drink has necessarily like knocked me out i still sometimes have to take melatonin like actual melatonin with it but i thought it would be fun to make this little sleepy girl drink and then answer some questions kind of you know sleepover vibes and look at my little heart glass that i got this is from world market it's so cute. So over on my Instagram, I just had you guys ask me some questions about my dating life, about your dating life, being single, in a relationship, etc. So I'm so excited to go through those questions. That is so dark. I can add just a little bit. You really don't need lemon juice if you're using like a ginger lime poppy, but just a little splash. Actually, like the tiniest. That actually probably didn't do anything. And what you do with the little pill is you get the ones that you can like break apart and then pour the powder in. 
I don't know if you're supposed to do one or two. A serving size is technically two. So maybe that's why I'm not getting like knocked out because I'm not doing enough magnesium. And then I have this cutie little butterfly straw we're gonna use to mix everything. I think the past two years, I've done like a little Valentine's Q&A. Oh, yeah, that's tart, but it's good. And then I'm gonna put a bunch of ice in it too, which as it melts will kind of help dilute it. Okay, so I'm over on my pink couch. Oh, I really hope I don't spill this. It tastes so good. Actually, it's kind of a lot of sugar. I think for me, this probably is not something I should drink every single day, but on like a fun Valentine's self-care day, this is fun. Plus like the little cup. Show you guys a little bit closer. It's so cute. Okay, so let me pull up my little Instagram. I just asked you guys over there at emilynos8 to ask me any questions you might have, and there was a ton of responses. So we're just gonna speed round this. What to do when you are in a season of singleness? This is such a great question. So I'm currently single. I've been in a very long season of singleness, and I love calling it a season of singleness because that implies that it's temporary and not going to last forever. So I feel like when you're in a season of singleness, that is your time to focus on yourself like a hundred percent be the most selfish honestly you need to be and the thing I like to do most in my season of singleness is I really like to focus on friendships friendships and also just like who I want to be as a person because I'm the kind of person where if somebody walks into my life like a romantic partner I tend to put my own needs aside and just forget about myself and only really care about them it's horrible it's horrible i'm working on it so in my season of singleness like i'm really focusing on my career what kind of person i want to be how do i want to dress what do i want my hobbies to be like what makes me me and i think being single is really the best time to do that and it's so fun you literally just get to dive into yourself and like everything that you want to be and you can totally do that in a relationship too but also focusing on friendships i know that when i meet my person i want to have friends i want to have like real friends that i can be like oh in order to date me my friends have to like you like i want to have my own hobbies my own friends i want to have my own life and be so just like i guess secure in my own life that way when i do meet somebody else they can complement my life. I don't want to meet somebody where I'm like searching for something or kind of desperate so then they fulfill that because in that I feel like it's just not going to work long term. So I want to be whole. I want to have my whole life. I mean my life is not going to be completely figured out but like I want to feel like I know what I'm doing. I want to feel like I'm whole as a person and then I would love to meet somebody else who is also whole and then we can be whole together. That was so cheesy, I'm, I do apologize. How do you get over a breakup? Love this question. I've only had one breakup that I've had to get over in my life, but I feel like I learned so much. It took me a long time, not necessarily to get over a specific person, but just to like feel like myself again post breakup. It did take me quite a while. The best advice that really helped me was that when you're getting over a breakup and trying to get over someone, there are only two outcomes that are going to happen. The first outcome is that you find your way back to that person. So maybe you're broken up for a temporary amount of time, but then if you're meant to be with that person, you're gonna find your way back to each other. So until that day, I think you should, you know, focus on yourself, focus on what you want to do, etc. Because if you're really truly meant to be with that person, you're going to be with them. Or the other outcome that could happen is that you learn to be so happy without that person. You learn life goes on, you create this whole new life that doesn't involve them at all. And you probably are going to be way happier than you ever were. And you're going to meet somebody who is even better than that person that you thought maybe was so amazing and so great. Truly in a breakup, you cannot lose because you're either gonna get back with that person and you're both gonna be in a much better place or you're gonna find somebody even better. I do think there is gonna be some hurt that you have to go through. It's almost inevitable if you truly like someone. But once you get over that hump, oh my gosh, it's gonna feel like you're brand new. It's gonna feel like you're literally walking on cloud nine. I love answering these questions, but don't let me fool you, I don't have dating worked out. Like, I don't really know what I'm doing. Which Disney character would be your Valentine? 
That is such a sweet question. Okay, if we're talking Disney, you know, Disney Channel, everything Disney, I would probably say either Troy Bolton or EJ from High School Musical, the musical, the series. But if you want more like classic Disney, I would say maybe Flynn Rider or Naveen, Prince Naveen or Gaston. Oh, Buzz Lightyear. Maybe Buzz Lightyear. Just curious, would you date someone that did not like Disney? Um, I actually probably wouldn't if they hated Disney or just like did not like it. But I don't think I want to date someone who is necessarily obsessed with Disney either. My preference for the amount somebody likes Disney that I would date is I think it'd be okay if I liked Disney more than them. They just have to tolerate it. What are some signs to look for in the early stages of talking slash dating? Words versus action. Number one thing to look out for is love bombing. It's a tricky one though because if somebody tells you they like you and they bring you flowers and they want to hang out with you all the time like that either could be love bombing or they could just genuinely really like you and really want to get to know you so love bombing is kind of a tricky one for me because i've definitely been loved bomb love love bombs i've definitely been it twice and i feel like the best way to know if somebody is love bombing you is maybe if their actions really if their actions maybe don't add up to their words maybe just like somebody says like oh i really really like you oh i think you're the one oh i really want to get to know you like they're buttering you up in that sense but then maybe they're not making time for you red flag there is this one guy that i was talking to and i remember he literally canceled our first date it wasn't our first time ever hanging out i guess because we were kind of friends i think he literally canceled or rescheduled because he was too tired or something i remember being so sad i was like oh what the heck and then we finally went on the date though and like it was fine and it was fun and then we had a second date planned and he also canceled that one because he was too tired or whatever it's hard because I like to give people the benefit of the doubt. Like I understand being so tired or I understand like struggling with mental health and like having things go on. Like I understand, but I think, I think something like that. I don't think anybody should cancel a date, cancel or like reschedule a date, a first date. So I think that's something that I am going to be looking for moving forward is like how a guy asks me out on a date. That's very important. What he does on the date. So like, does he pick me up slash does he offer to pick me up? Does he open the door? Does he pay for me? Does he ask questions about myself? Does he try to get to know me? Like all those little things, I feel like it's kind of easy to write them off if you just really want to like someone. But I think after like seeing those little things and then it not working out, like the little things that happen in the beginning, they don't go away. Like for the most part, or at least in my experience, when I look back, they were always there. And I think they only got worse the guy that kept canceling on me like if we went into a relationship that would probably be our whole relationship him canceling rescheduling or just expecting me to always be on his schedule what's your best advice for someone who's surrounded by friends that are in relationships welcome to the club um that is me currently and it's kind of driving me insane everybody i meet is in a relationship so then where's my person like where, where did I go wrong? My best advice for you is I think it is really good to find friends that are on your same path of life. So like I have all my friends that are in a relationship and I have a few friends that are single. And so those friends are the ones that I really want to try to like hold tight and hold close because they are going to understand that aspect of my life a lot better than my married friends are. So you're going to want to have oh. And I mean, that goes to like, if you're married, like I think it's really good to have other married couple friends, but like, it's also, hello? Take two, we got a new light. I would definitely recommend try to find some friends that are also single as well. I just think that might help. I also will say there's nothing wrong with you. It is okay if you're not in a relationship, but there is nothing wrong with you for being single. Like you are awesome just the way you are and your friends should wanna hang out with you for just you. You are enough. That is the most important thing I could ever say to you, to someone who's single, is you are enough. And your friends, I really hope they don't make you feel like you're less than enough because you're not in a relationship. That, that to me is almost unacceptable. I know I said I'd only answer a few, but I'm like, get into it. What's your favorite rom-com trope? Example, enemies to lovers, friends to lovers, second chance, etc. My favorite trope is enemies to lovers. And the best example of this 
Oh, I have two. Is Jake Ryan? Yeah, Jake Ryan and Miley Stewart and Hannah Montana, how they like hated each other. Oh, so good. Or, or Maddie and Zac Efron's character in Sweet Life. Like there's this whole thing where like they're just completely opposite on the political spectrum and just have different beliefs and everything. And then they're like yelling at each other. And then he goes, do you want to kiss me as much as I want to kiss you? Oh, that gold that is television gold another favorite of mine is will always be um sunny and chad from sunny with the chance <laughs> they're so good so i'm like okay so who do i hate right now that can turn into someone i like See, the thing is, I don't hate anyone. A lot of you guys are also just asking, like, what I'm doing on Valentine's Day, how I'm spending it. So, like I said earlier, I'm going to go hang out with my friend Michaela. We're going to have just, like, a cutie little Valentine's Day. I'm very excited. Um, but one thing I did want to say is being a single girly, the thing I've learned to do is on holidays, especially Valentine's Day, but really any holiday, I feel like being single is kind of not ideal unless you have like a group of friends to hang out with but i feel like instead of feeling sorry for myself like if i had no plans on valentine's day if i had nobody to hang out with if i like had no plans and i've definitely done this before what i do is i i don't typically like want to like feel sad that day or feel sorry for myself so i will just turn it into like like you know those days where it's called like your yes day like for example if you have like a child and it's their birthday maybe you give them a yes day where you say yes to every single thing they want that day well that's what i do but with myself i give myself a yes day so anything i want i'm just like yes let's go get it so like my ideal valentine's day would be like waking up and having just the yummiest breakfast i just bought cinnamon rolls so if i have time tomorrow i'm gonna make some cinnamon rolls gonna make some good coffee and then at night i would order a heart-shaped pizza and turn on my favorite rom-com maybe like the notebook or something and so that's like what i do on holidays it's gonna take somebody so amazing and special for me to want to date and then spend my valentine's day with them because i am a great valentine to myself i think wherever you're lacking love it's kind of great if you can just give that to yourself. But I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your Valentine's Day with me. Happy Valentine's Day, and I love you so much. Bye.